little bit of high poly modeling. I have been trying to brush up on this to get better at it. I'm taking Mickey's advice and uh, making some videos showing off what it is that I'm working on exactly. So I decided to start actually modeling out my characters for my comic, which is the storyline from Lithia. Now you might recognize this comic that I just recently put up. So it went from this and then to that, to that, and then the final product was, was pretty much all here. But what I can really do is I start doing high poly characters for the model posing and I'm using uh, Daz. So for example, if you take her, she's very easy to pose, but I get more of the detail and I can skip an entire part of the process when it comes to the actual, um, when it comes to the actual, like making of the entire comic, I can skip the whole entire sketch part. So this makes the whole process a lot faster and also a lot more accurate and hell of a lot easier on me. But not only that, I get to um, build environments, which is stuff that I, I get to kind of do from my game design experience. So like, uh, for example, one of the scenes in the first issue of the comic is showing an environment with characters in it which is right here. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of a, you know, uh, there's a little bit of an initial cost is to, once I, f is to initially make the character, you know, model them out. But then I can have the comic and really up it from what I was doing before. Now I have these really detailed characters. I have like, um, I, I have all these detailed characters and they're posed and then I put backgrounds in and now I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did with this. I'm going to do my sketch art, you know, do my line art for vectoring over top of these guys while they already have all their detail on them. So they're going to be extremely accurate. And it's very, very quick once I have the models. <laughs> 